project I did. I bought an old trailer and uh, what I'm doing is making a fishing shack out of it because uh, well March rolls around there ain't much for trapping so we're gonna pull it out in the lake and do some fishing so I got a good friend over here uh, Romeo he's come along and give me a hand and we tore everything he's just giving her yes we tore everything <laughs> out we put our wood heater in here nice and toasty and uh Made some fishing for the holes in the floor for fishing. This one's going to hold up for four. But, uh, yeah, we left everything in. We still got the cupboard. We got some cleaning up to do. Left our cook stove to fry the fish. And she's nice and toasty. The heater's on idle. And uh, we just left everything in. And, and uh, what we did is uh, we lifted the stove up. So we got more space underneath. And then... We still got this, it's the bathroom. Well, we'll make it into a porta potty and because we'll have uh, no heat in here at night so you can't put have running water. But we got a Romeo, Romeo's got his shack set up out there. We're gonna pull into it and we're gonna catch fish and we're gonna eat. Uh, it's supposed to be turning into minus 30s here the next few days. So we're hoping to have her on the ice. Well, I got her settled in guys. Uh, just gonna head her out. Fishing. I'm gonna hit the winter road here and uh, head her across. There's a bunch of units out there, we can see. I talked to the warden a while back. I guess there's a few hundred of them over But uh, this is where I'm heading over where these other ones are here. It's like a little town out there. check some snares I've been at home here for a bit I kind of closed down camp gonna check every week uh, I've been three checks already there hasn't been a wolf track up here but uh, I'm we had a fresh snow two days ago and uh, yeah I caught a couple of wolf tracks right here this is the first I've seen in four or five weeks so but we're a long ways away we're about halfway in so I still got another 10 K's to go to hit my line so hopefully they keep traveling here and uh, we'll see what we got. Well, I got into where my baits are. Just checked everything, guys, and uh, they just haven't been down here. They uh, came within probably three to four miles of my line. Then they cut her south. If they kept coming north, uh, they'd have come right up this valley along the creek where they always come into my snares here. But... Yeah, she's tough. The snow is deep, and they're they're following the trails quite a bit, game trails. But you know what? Uh, got some more bait in over here, and and uh, it's just a matter of time. I mean, we still got another good month and a half here, so yeah, February's rolling around and be mating, so they should be on the prowl end. So we'll see what happens. But I did manage to pick up one Martin today. Out of all. Uh, I only had two traps left out, and I thought, well, I better trip them, and I come, and I had the one Martin. So the Martin season's done now for me. Well, look at here. I'm not just feeding horses. The deer had moved in, and they started a few days ago, and I didn't realize it was getting this bad until I came to feed again. I haven't got many bales. I got to go pick more up, but uh, of what I got, they're really wrecking her. So... I don't know what to do here. I gotta build some kind of fence or something. Uh, they're in the yard, my dog can't keep them away. So, bales at a hundred bucks a piece. They're, they ate already, well, wrecked three of them here. So, it is what it is, guys. You gotta feed them if we're gonna eat them. Well, in between uh, fixing up the fishing shack, checking snares, been cutting wood. I worked last night here. I got this all split up and and uh, gonna start splitting some more today. Got a big pile right here. So I got maybe about a quarter of what I need. Uh, so nothing another week or so, 10 days won't look after. In between checking snares and that, we'll keep at her. 
Got my little wood splitter here, it works perfect. Well, just letting everybody know here that uh, <clears throat> still cutting wood. <laughs> but uh, trapping is slowing right down now. It's almost the end of season. But uh, yeah, I've been uh, cutting here in a way a uh, few more days. But just thought I'd uh, touch base with everyone. And we, a uh, few more days, we got what we call the Festival of Speed up here. Uh, so the trappers uh, local was asked to put a booth up on the lake. So uh, right where the ice races go. So there'd be cars, motorbikes, there's everything racing. Two day event and uh, we'll be set up there and uh, and uh, just show what the trappers do. We'll have our booth, there'd be furs and stuff. I'm taking my tent. So that's where I'm staying for three days in the tent and uh, it ain't looking good. The weather was supposed to be like around 28 up here. But um, if uh, all my followers, if you're around this area, stop by. We'll uh, we'll be there. I'll get to meet you, and you get to meet me and some other trappers. There's gonna be lots of trappers there. So uh, that's where I'm uh, gonna be busy the next few days setting up and stuff. So uh, we got lots of work ahead of us, but there's 25, 30 trappers, so everybody's gonna be helping out. But um, I will be given day to day. I don't know how Barry's he wants to post it. Maybe uh, she'll have it uh, from day to day for everybody. Or maybe one episode. We'll see when she gets there. Another thing I did uh, forget to mention, guys, is uh, they got an airstrip on the ice. So, I mean, it handled some pretty big planes a few years back. And uh, if you're not uh, from the province here and you want to come on up, uh, you don't even have to uh, rent a car. You land right there. Uh, I don't know how many planes they had a few years back, but uh, I mean, there was a pile of them. It's a big airstrip they make. And uh, so if you're out of province or whatever, just look it up, Festival of Speed. I believe it's a 25th and 26th for Lac La Biche, Alberta, Canada. Look it up and uh, we'd like to see you guys up here and then uh, Spend a few days, see what Alberta's made of. Uh, I forgot to also mention, you know, uh, the Alberta Trappers Association, our local, we do a lot of uh, volunteer work. Uh, we got the archery shoot, the World Series, coming in 2024. We had it a couple years back before COVID hit. And who uh, who they get is the Trappers to open trail. Everybody's used to opening trails. Uh, it's some of the older guys, you know, and uh, they're still out there working. They're raging, most of them from 60 to, we got some 82 year old guys yet running chainsaw and throwing sticks. Uh, we got a handful of younger ones under 60. Uh, you know what, they're right in there to help and this is what we need. We need more of the younger people to help us out. So uh, we do all we can to help uh, the locals here and they help us back. So it's a good trade. 